so guys here is the sample data that we have taken and if you can see we have sorted the data in the form of uh, months like for months these are the visits page views bounce rate then we have this exit rate on a website then we have got these traffic sources organic traffic paid traffic direct and social and referral traffic and we have this name of the dashboard that we are going to create this is the date then this is the type of the report which is quarterly report and all these kpis are mentioned here with their total numbers and we have mentioned this top location here and you can also see the page views in terms of like which country uh, has got maximum views and we can create some kind of chart using this data as well now we have also placed insights here so this is a dummy text which you can change of course the idea is to create a dashboard where you don't have to change anything on the actual dashboard you have to change the values here and it will automatically reflect on the dashboard so if you can see here we have created this beautiful dashboard it's filled with gradient colors it is vibrant and it's beautiful and one more thing which is really beautiful about this dashboard is the connectivity for example you have got a dashboard of your website and you want to create a report where you have got multiple regions to report for example this could be your first region then if you click on this second it will take you to the second tab and you can change the values here according to that region similarly if you click on this third fourth and fifth so this is how this is how it is all connected and you don't have to change anything here or here even this these insights these insights are connected from here you just have to change the values here and the values will change automatically here so this is how this dashboard is created and that's the beauty of it so now let's learn how to create this beautiful dashboard so first of all you have to give a black background and after that you have to insert this rounded rectangle and we will fill gradient colors and we will fill three gradient colors using three gradient stops and the type of gradient that we will fill here uh, we will try we will go for the radial background and you have to select the direction here direction is very important to make sure how it flows on the actual shape now duplicate this shape and go to format shape and play with the transparency of the colors the idea is to move this shape behind the main shape we will send it to the back and we will extend it from the right in the background slightly in, uh, reduce its height and then you can send to back so this is how it will look and this looks really beautiful and vibrant now again duplicate it and again adjust the transparency of any of the two or one of the gradient colors in the gradient stops you have to see how the color flows there is no formula here you have to try and test so this is how it looks go to format shapes again 
we have to increase the transparency of the blue side as well so that's why that's what we are trying to do here we have to keep blue on the left for that we have to slightly adjust it So yeah now it looks fine uh, we have got this blue color on the left and that's what is required here now send to back so now we have these three layers the top layer and two layers behind the main layer align middle make sure everything is well aligned Let's extend this dashboard from the right because we need some space here. So we are creating this dashboard to adjust four charts. Four charts we can add here. Now insert a text box. Now comes the main part which is related to the connectivity. So here you can adjust the font size and the values and I'm using Monsterat font here with the 16 font size. Now duplicate this text box and create like 15 20 copies of this text box. And why are we creating the copies here? Because in the sheet 2 we have the data KPIs. And what we want is we want to write the data KPIs and their values here. So these are the KPIs and we will add these kpis in our dashboard but we will use formula to connect it with the data sheet and we don't want to edit text here and write the actual kpi name like visit page views here for that for connecting it with the data sheet we need to create multiple copies here of the text box So select the main title text box, press equal sign and select the value that you want to add here. And now you can see it's connected. Similarly select the first text box, press equal sign uh, in the formula bar and select the value in the data sheet that you want to write here again right equal sign click on the value and it will appear here so you have to follow the same process on all these textbook items so till now i hope everything is very clear and easy you just have to add text box and then create multiple copies select the text box add equal sign in the formula bar and then select the value the cell with the value that you want here in this text box so that's how you can connect the data with the text boxes and now you can change the value here and it will automatically change here so this is how you can create this beautiful dashboard So this is organic traffic right equal and then select the value so we still have some more KPIs left let's duplicate these items and apply the same technique here so till now if you think it's pretty easy and clear please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe as well this will really help us and motivate us And do not forget to download this beautiful Excel dashboard template from the G Drive link provided in the video description. Again duplicate the text boxes. So here you can see I am just changing the value of the D 
D27 then D28 because in the data sheet the values are written in the respective cell so I, I remember the cells that's why I can change the formula here otherwise you can directly select from the data sheet so in the D30 cell the location is mentioned now you can duplicate the title text box again and we have to select this date range again duplicate and we have to select the type of report which is quarterly report so now we have got all the important text boxes there and we have to use now drag option and we have to place them align them and make them look beautiful so stack all these text boxes together in a single column so that all can fit inside uh, this rounded rectangle currently you can see the these might go out go out of this text box this rounded rectangle so we have to select all these one by one and decrease the height value so this is how we can select all these together align center distribute vertically and reduce the height again so you have to do it like a couple of times until you get the output you need increase the width and you can see the the, the space between each item now again select all the text boxes here I have slightly moved the last text box towards the top and now again select all the text boxes and distribute vertically and we need to select alternate text boxes now because these are the value text boxes and we want them to be different from the KPI text box so increase the font size to 10.5 and now select the KPI text boxes and remove the bold and increase the font size to 9 slightly increase the height and now you can see the formatting is looking much better now and each KPI is now attached to its value in terms of UI now you can group each KPI and value together select the KPI and the value right click group and then again group In PowerPoint you can press Ctrl plus G to group the items but here I don't know the shortcut key and Ctrl G is not for grouping in Microsoft Excel and slightly move it upward now it it is now much easier to align these items because you have grouped the text boxes now again select these grouped text boxes distribute vertically and now we will remove their background colors as well go to shape format remove the fill and remove the outline if there is any change the text color to white and now you can see the text is not visible for that we will add a shape behind the text boxes 
but again select all these text items and this time we will group these items now insert shapes and insert this rounded rectangle remove the outline and here we have to try multiple colors to see which one looks good here or matches with the overall look and feel of this dashboard so we have to bring the text box to the front so you can use selection pane as well now change the color to white and increase the transparency then try some dark color like black or dark blue I think the dark color will look much better here so you have to test with different colors here like you can go for some dark blue dark purple or dark green as well or black anything which is dark will look good here and you have to try and test it multiple times so this is the end of part one and we will see you guys in our next part till then please subscribe to our channel join the membership and let's target for 200,000 subscribers and with your support we can definitely achieve those numbers so we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye